have a story to tell because my understanding is that in these recent days, you know, everyone's working around the clock like crazy to uh, serve uh, patients in this uh, age of Corona. And you had a specific problem which you needed a solution to. During the Friday, uh, in Israel, there was a change in the policy on how to conduct the, the coronavirus tests. We have a very huge uh, lab, which is able to uh, run many, many uh, tests uh, within a very short time. So we, we need to uh, find the solution uh, so we can uh, get a, a test of our patients from all around the country, from many other labs, and we need to uh, take those results and to insert them into our uh, systems in order uh, for us to give uh, our uh, patients the, the, the information that they have the corona. How long would it you know, normally take you and what kind of manpower would that require? Probably if it was normally, I guess it would take us a month or two. Wait a minute. So you yeah. managed to make a change in a healthcare IT system which is of critical importance, basically serving corona data uh, and uh, hook it up to your core system. And you approached Cryon on Friday and it's in full production by Monday? Exactly. <laughs> you phrased it well. Wow! That is, that, Harrell, what, what kind of magic did you work? How does this happen? So know, basically, I've got, uh, <laughs> I've got a phone call from, uh, from Daniel Ped, our VP of uh, partnership, and he, he said, you know, the, there is a crisis in Maccabi. They are looking for, you know, they need to uh, identify information or gather information from the uh, Israeli government healthcare office, uh, then identify all the relevant data, integrate it into Maccabi systems, and then make sure that they have all the required um, you know, identification or communication with their patients in order to uh, bring that uh, as fast as, we, as they can uh, to their co consumers or to their customers or patients eventually. So from that moment, I said to uh, Daniel and the entire team, I said, guys, you know, we are, we, we are in, you know, no matter, you know, I don't care about, you know, either cost, who will do that. We need to make sure that it will be available in the market as fast as we can. We took a, a person from Germany, one of our uh, professional services uh, employees, uh, based in Germany. Uh, we, you know, these days again, maybe um, you know, a few words before that. These days, it's insane for the RPA for crying RPA solution because, you know, these days when companies had to uh, had dramatic cost reduction, they need to maintain the services while they had to either lay off people or you know try to figure out how to maintain their activities while their employees are at home. Uh, eventually the RPA or robotic process automation, which create an environment for virtual worker, it, um, you know, the demand is super high. Everyone working around the clock to, uh, you know, provide solution for our customer. And I said, guys, stop. Beside of the other activities, we need to focus now on Maccabi situation because eventually, you know, it can help the entire, you know, population this is gonna, in Israel. It's going to save lives. But so your exactly. solution exactly. basically is a robotic process automation where bots basically go through the, the mountains of code and automatically configure this data so that it could be integrated fully in production for Maccabi's system. Guys, only in Israel does this kind of stuff happen, except that I think that the story here about a German programmer, you're now getting inquiries, Harel, from all over the world.